Almost 25 years after I put it on for the first time, it was a profound experience to don my white coat at a Nazi concentration camp while leading a seminar for Israeli physicians. Having grown up in Israel, I thought I was knowledgeable about the Holocaust. However, it was many years until I learned about the central role the physicians played in the Holocaust. This is why I initiated the first Israel Medical Association's seminar tour to Berlin, challenging physicians today to confront the fact that physicians, as a group, had joined the Nazi party at a greater rate than any other profession in Germany. שהובילה את החברה הגרמנית, ובתוכם גם את הרופאים והמקצוע של הרפואה, לבצע את הפשע המחריד של השואה. The seminar tour combined guided historical site visits, scholarly lectures, reflective group discussions, declarative ceremonies, survivor testimonies, participant-led discourse, as well as formal memorial services. The goal of the seminar was to explore the distorted rationale that led physicians and the entire medical establishment to implement racial and eugenic policies in the name of modern science. The medical atrocities began in 1933 with a national campaign of forced sterilization of over 400,000 Germans. The idea of gas chambers as an efficient tool suitable to the hospital settings was introduced in 1939 when psychiatric and disabled patients were murdered in the first specially built gas chambers at six German hospitals. Under the guise of euthanasia, the mass murder of over 70,000 German patients by their physicians was the blueprint for the final solution and the Holocaust. Along with providing insights into the medical origins of the crimes of the Holocaust, we learned about the Jewish community in Germany as well as the history of National Socialism. אדם בן 92, פרופסור גרהרד בדר, שהוא גם ניצול שואה יהודי, יליד ויינה, הוא עצמו נשלח למחנה עבודה בכפייה, אנחנו נפגוש אותו עכשיו בבית כנסת. is necessary to study today because we have today possibilities that in national socialism one could only dream of. Following a deeply disturbing visit to the Brenberg Psychiatric Hospital gas chamber, we held our first memorial service. <laughs> שהיה ועדיין משמש כבית חולים שבו לפני 80 שנה רופאים הפכו ממטפלים לרוצחים. אנו קוראים למוסדות להשכלה גבוהה בכל מקצועות הבריאות ותחומי לימוד הרפואה לשלב בתוכנית הלימודים שלהם קורסים בנושא הרפואה והשואה והשלכותיה על הפרקטיקה הטיפולית, על המחקר ועל מדיניות הבריאות בת זמננו. בשבילי זה חוויה מתקנת. להגיע לכאן, שאנחנו לומדים אתיקה, ואנחנו לומדים גם לא רק לעצמנו כרופאים, אבל כבני אדם, ולהביא את זה לדור הבא, כשרופאים. אין מלא רחמים שוכן במרומים, אמצעי מנוחה נכונה. The Israel Medical Association is dedicated to the call to educate physicians on medicine during the Nazi era and will continue sending physician seminar tours to Berlin as well as Poland in the future. Most valuable was meeting with German scholars and physicians as well as survivors. 
this Holocaust started with the euthanasia campaign. And before the euthanasia campaign, you have the compulsory sterilization. And then in the concentration camps like Sachsenhausen, the medical experimentation, selecting somebody because he's um, mentally ill and you just don't want to go on feeding him mm -hmm. is something that is very closely connected with the, with the everyday life of a physician. This small first mm -hmm. step that brings you to a slippery slope when you start thinking about whether mentally ill is to have the same value for society, you already start to question their right to live. And the end of this is killing. Entrusted with these memories, participants understood the responsibility of our generation to bridge the gap between the survivors and all future generations. I can learn that um, what kind of responsibility I have as a doctor, that I have sworn a vow to protect um, people who can't speak for themselves, people who don't have a voice, and that I have uh, sworn that I will uh, treat everybody without uh, discrimination. אנחנו למעשה נמצאים כאן במקור של הרוע של המקור של הרוע. We also learned about the few heroic physicians, righteous among the nations, who risked their lives to protect the vulnerable, as well as the many outstanding Jewish physicians who under dire conditions continued to care for their patients. To walk on the sidewalks to see the places where this happened, um, walking through the hospitals, um, gives you a, a different perspective as if you uh, go to Poland or another place and you have it only in theory. איך יכול להיות שכמות כל כך גדולה של רופאים שהיו כאן, והיו גם במקומות אחרים, לא יצאו כנגד הדברים האלה? וזה העלה לכל אחד, וגם לסוגיות שונות, של מה נכון ומה לא נכון, ומה אתה יכול לעשות אחרת. נחשפתי למכונת רוע שבעצם נעשתה על ידי רופאים. הרופאים הם אלה שיזמו את המכונה הזו. The Auschwitz, you see the final result of where they ended up. Um, but it's easy to distance yourself and to say, well, I'm not as bad as the people who worked in Auschwitz. Whereas being in Germany and seeing what normal doctors did during their normal workday and everyday life brings it much closer. And the questions of, am I in danger of doing things like that? Do I have situations with my patients uh, that resemble those of back then? I think one cannot understand the underpinnings of the Shoah, how it all happened without understanding where it all began. And it all began here in the Lion's Den, and that's for the reason why it's important to come to Berlin and its surroundings to see where it all began, with the, with the mentally ill uh, in, in general, and the role that the doctors played in the philosophy of the connection between the, well, the symbolic relationship between what the doctors were thinking at the time and what the political ideology and the government allowed them to do. Auch ich für mich mitgenommen habe und was ich mir wünsche, dass auch andere Besucher, Ärzte, Krankenschwestern mitnehmen können oder sollen, ist tatsächlich auch ein ähm, Blick auf die Patienten mit Wertschätzung und Respekt. Ähm, das ist ja in der Zeit des Nationalsozialismus völlig verloren gegangen. מה אסור לנו לעשות כרופאים, בעיות של יום יום, אנחנו לא יכולים להחליט מי יחיה ומי ימות, האם מותר לנו לעשות טיפולים חסרי תוחלת, עוד פעם במקורים שלי, כשאתה עושה את השיקול של טיפול שיכול לעזור לאחרים, האם ברמה של האדם הבודד הזה, הטיפול לא יעשה יותר נזק מאשר תועלת. Challenges our understanding of the Hippocratic Oath and the role of physicians in society. We left Berlin with a deep sense of our professional obligation to remember all the victims of the medical atrocities during the Nazi period and to honor all those who stood against and those who held true to their healer's oath under extreme circumstances. I believe that this life changing experience will not only make us better doctors, but will also make us better people.